consider your ancestors. Perhaps they were very much like you. for help in the face of great evil. <laughs> Would you risk everything to save them? seconds and you'd only be a memory. Luckily, I can stop time. Follow me quickly. I'll explain it all later. I am Kotori, the Owl Spirit, and you are my descendant. I've sent you that album. It holds the secret to saving your bloodline. You are the only one who can do it. Long ago, I gave up my immortality to leave the world of spirits and live a mortal life with my beloved Sheena. Hundreds of years have passed, but still Venona, Spirit of Cold, does not forgive me for choosing Sheena instead of her. She vows to travel back in time and kill Sheena before we can meet. But this is not enough for Venona's bitter revenge. 
On this special day of the full moon, Venona has managed to return to the world of people. Now she hunts my descendants, your ancestors. You must go back in time to save them, otherwise you will never be born. Take this feather, it might help you in your long journey. This feather can enlarge items you find. Behold, and fear nothing. This is your grandmother's photo. She is in danger. Find her grave. That's the only way to save our bloodline. My precious daughter, my little Mandy, not for me, she would be alive. You, you can help me? That's my daughter in that portrait. If I hadn't left her alone, I wouldn't have lost her. Please, please help me. Only you can save my daughter. Katuri, sending a mere mortal to stop Winona, the almighty spirit of cold? Stay far away, mortal, or I will swat you dead. Well, did you like the view? Tonight, someone will die in this mansion.
forbidden to touch my favorite perfume. But I didn't touch it, Mommy. So it simply jumped off the windowsill? Liar! Mandy, how harsh your mother has been. Let me comfort you. Let me take you to the ball and let you dance until the dawn. Do not fear. Just hear my soft voice. And follow. Follow.
Long, long ago, before the sun rose and the moon smiled from the night sky, snow had not yet fallen upon the earth. For Venona, spirit of cold, was merciful. She cradled the plants from the blistering wind, stopped the river water from freezing, and kept the children from shivering in their night clothing. to go to the ball. Liars must stay at home and think better of their actions. That's not fair. Enough. Go to bed before I return. We shall talk again after the ball. I must call home. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Ugh, now you're annoying me, mortal. Go home and warm yourself. If I must summon the servants of cold, you'll catch your death. <laughs>
But then, powerful Venona fell in love with the handsome owl spirit, Koturi. She was too shy to tell him her feelings, so she tied a love note to the wing of a dove and delivered it to Koturi upon the breath of a cold wind. I can kill you right where you stand, and if I do so to any of your ancestors, you will cease to exist. You've chosen your fate, mortal. Powers of Earth, unleash now, ice and blizzard! Come, ice wolf! I have a tasty snack for you. Give me your hand.
Venona was afraid that the love that warmed her cold heart would not be returned. Her fear shook the icicles from her hair, and they melted upon the warm ground. Finally, her dove returned with an answer. Venona read the note from Katuri with shaking hands, and her blue eyes froze. The owl spirit was gentle, but his meaning was clear. He loved her not.
Nona has gone deeper into the past. Now she menaces the grandmother of Mandy, whom you were able to save. Quickly, while I can hold still the flow of time.
Where... Where did you get this? It's my beloved Margaret. We ran away against my parents' wishes, but she fell on the train tracks and... And I couldn't save her. I beg you, please, help my beloved Margaret. Sadness turned to rage. She cast her cold fury upon the earth, letting the plants freeze, the children sicken, and the rivers turn to ice. The people of earth brought her offerings, but her misery made her blind, and her spurned love could not be appeased. Thank God you're here. Margaret, my bride, stumbled over a track and her foot is caught. The track switch is covered with ice, but together we should be able to turn it. Come, quickly! How was I trapped in here? In ten minutes, my bride will die on the tracks. I beg you, help me switch the train to a different track.
Koturi felt for the innocent people of the earth. He begged Venona for mercy, but she could not be warmed by gifts or pleading. And so Koturi pledged himself to her in marriage, if only she would let the sun return. Koturi's pledge of marriage, although offered with a heavy heart, gladdened Venona. The earth returned to warmth and harmony. Venona made ready for her autumn wedding with joyful celebration.
You have my gratitude for saving my bride. But Margaret is frail due to her weak heart, and she will die if she is exposed to the elements. We must warm her. Quick, my carriage at the square has a blanket and a burner. Here, take the keys. Her hands are turning to blue. She must have her heart medicine. Here is her prescription. Use my carriage and speed to the nearest pharmacy in the center of the city. But mind the horse. He can be a handful. Before the wedding could be celebrated, Sheena, the lovely daughter of a village elder, found herself lost in the forest. Night fell, and still Sheena could not find her way. Finally, she bedded down in the forest, drifting into a deep and restful sleep.
If not for you, Margaret would be dead. You have our eternal thanks. Our firstborn child will have your name. And so too through the generations. Bless you and goodbye. <laughs> No, not Sheena. The wedding gown sewn with true love should protect her. But Venona is crafty. Hurry and save my beloved. Venona must not destroy the gown. I am holding the flow of time with all my power. Koturi flew over the forest as an owl, and he saw the beautiful mortal fast asleep. He felt her wisdom and calm spirit flowing through his own. All at once, he fell deeply in love. He took her in his arms and brought her home to her family. When Sheena awoke, she found herself in the strong arms of a young and handsome warrior. Her tender heart awakened, thinking her still asleep. Koturi kissed her gently and covered her with a soft feather blanket. Then he left by way of the river where Sheena's tribe lived. Child of future, you were foretold by Owl Spirit Kotori when the old shaman was sleeping. Trouble has come. The tribe scattered when the bear went after Sheena, beloved of the Owl Spirit. Sheena led the bear from the village, and the old shaman blocked the cave to keep it inside. Sheena is protected by Owl Spirit's slow-burning feather. 
but soon it will be no more. The old shaman will be waiting for you at the entrance to the cave. Katuri was hunting in human form when he spied the beautiful figure of Sheena in the woods. She smiled her lovely smile, confessing that she knew he was the owl spirit. They fell into each other's arms, and so they began to meet in the forest secretly. Each time, their bond deepened. Katuri forgot his promise to Venona. He asked Sheena to sew a shirt for him, embroidered with an owl. The girl agreed to his request. And when he put on the shirt she had embroidered with her love, he became mortal. He went to Sheena's father to ask for her hand.
The old shaman must use all his power to help Sheena, as her magic feather is fast disappearing. His weak spirit won't hold the bear for long. You, child of future, must find a way into the cave to save her. The spirit of the old shaman has lost his powers. Soon he won't be able to return. You must be quick. To clear Venona from the bear's mind, you must make a tambourine and then summon the owl spirit. After the owl spirit blesses the tambourine, you must play the sweet melody of the heart. <laughs> Outlander, kill the bear, and I will live to become the owl spirit's wife and give him many great sons. Help us escape the foul Winona's jealous deeds.
Sheena's father was suspicious of the young warrior who asked for his blessing. He demanded that Koturi kill a white deer in the wood and bring it to him. It was said that no mortal could shoot it with a bow. The old man was sure that Koturi would fail, but Koturi did not fail, and the old man had to agree to give his daughter to him in marriage. The two married and became one. They lived a long and happy life in peace, tenderness, and agreement, surrounded by children and grandchildren. But when Venona discovered Koturi's betrayal, she fell into rage and despair, and her tears blanketed the earth as snow. Even now, her tears still fall, and no spirit or mortal can ever take away her sorrow.
you have saved me, and all our unborn sons. I hear their voices in grateful chorus, glorifying your name. My blessing goes with you. Thank you, Outlander. The gown is torn, yet a piece remains. Please, Outlander, restore the gown and save our future. Eternal thanks for saving my beloved wife. I never imagined Venona would find her way here. May the powers of Earth protect you. <laughs>